chapter three, Mandalorian. It's time again. We're, we're back in the universe of the Mando. And I would say so far, this is the best episode to have dropped uh, as of right now. We begin the chapter with the Mandalorian returning to his town where he has brought back the bounty of uh, the Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda takes off the little ball. It's like a little turn knobby. Uh, very good foreshadowing it actually comes back later on in the show as he returns back into the town we've got a few faces jawas jawas are like everywhere man in the mandalorian they don't they go to every planet something else that's super interesting too they actually had for a first time this is the most similar thing to an astronaut helmet that we've ever seen in star wars uh, so I thought that was very interesting. They've never really had a helmet style like this in, in Star Wars. So I thought that was kind of cool. And the Mando returns to the Imperial a Warlord, the mysterious figure. He then uh, gives the Mandalorian his prize for, for bringing back the bounty. And he brings out a gang of stacks, a ton of metal cash. I mean, it's, it's absolutely huge. You saw what he was able to do with just one of those, building his armor and using some for his guild. So this is absolutely... Uh, a huge a bounty so it's a he was a little reluctant at first it's a baby yoda it looks so cute he looked at it and then he said i still got to get the job done this is what i do no questions asked i love how he took the item and he left and then the music started for the show i thought that was completely uh epic mando then returns to the bounty hunter squad and it seems like word has caught wind of what Mando's been doing, him working for the Empire, and his bounty hunter colleagues don't really seem to be on his side. Get a cool little action here with another fellow bounty hunter. Uh, it was a really, it was a really cool fight. You saw they had a, a lot of differences, and they had the the vibro swords. I mean, I mean, or the the knives. They looked completely epic. It looks like these guys are ashamed of what they've become. A lot of these bounty hunters. Uh, they're they're pretty much on disagreeing saying hey we're doing these dirty jobs for the Empire uh, you know we're, we're more than hiding underground we need to be uh, doing more with our lives so obviously the Mando bringing all that guap into their guild he gets his whole outfit redesigned he, he essentially levels up armor perks new weapons everything mando then returns to the bar to meet his boy mr carl weathers and it seems like all the other bounty hunters they've already caught wind they know that he did the impossible task the impossible mission and they're all kind of jealous and envious that he was able to do it too and not only did they pay the mando handsomely but they also paid uh, carl weathers character very handsomely as well so usually when people are throwing this amount of money around on a baby you know it's probably more than it seems mando then goes off for his other bounty adventures he continues his story as the mandalorian and while he's charging up his ship he's doing all the things to to get it booted up he then reaches to uh, start up the the main ignition and finds out that that ball is still taken off really reminds him of, of baby yoda and it took it took a ball top for him to change his his whole entire perspective on life. Mando then returns back to the outpost where he took Baby Yoda and received his prize to go save the little baby. Stormtroopers can't shoot, huh? Look at that, one shot. He clipped them. I mean, he could have had a better shot than that, but stormtroopers, you guys just need to get better. <laughs> the classic torture device, the the random floating orb with the syringe on the side. <laughs> The classic torture device of Star Wars. It looks like the Empire is still keeping these items around to use on Baby Yoda, the same uh, kind of principle that they used with uh, Leia in the original film. So it looks like they're either trying to get something out of uh, out of the Baby Yoda or torture it in some kind of way to give it information or to use its abilities. Once Mando finally gets out of the little Empire base and goes back to his ship, he is then surrounded by all the bounty hunters. All of their tracking fobs, they've actually turned on once again for the Baby Yoda. So now they are back on the hunt. He is met at the gate by Mr. Carl Weathers himself. I really enjoyed this. The, the Mando, it's definitely felt like a space Western, an old school Western. You can tell because it's all been kind of centered in this kind of like one little town where it feels like at every corner of the town, there's different things. This corner is the Mandalorian's Guild. This other corner is where the bounty hunters are. This other corner has the Empire's uh, little hidden base. So it feels like that old classic western where just everything's just packed into this one area. 
They surround the Mando. He's completely surrounded after their standoff. Uh, he's, he's pretty much dead meat and he gets saved by his squad, the Mandalorians, the the guild, they all show up in unison and in their jetpacks is so epic. Why the hell does a Mando have a jetpack? <laughs> it's, it's absolutely ridiculous that he doesn't have one. After saved by his bounty hunter guild, he then goes to his ship where he meets Carl Weathers character again. They then meet up, have a little squabble. The Mandalorian actually takes him out. But luckily for Carl Weathers character, he had that currency from the Empire, the, the metal that actually ended up saving him. Now this is epic. We've never seen the jetpacks in Star Wars be able to be used like this. I mean, this guy is literally flying like he's Superman. Every other time we've seen jetpacks, it's been a more of a boost ability to get to certain areas, but this guy is literally flying. And of course, uh, Pedro Pascal's character, Mando's like, Man, man, I gotta get one of those. <laughs> I think that's what everybody was thinking at the same time. Now I'm gonna pass the floor to you guys. Let me know what you thought of episode three of Mandalorian. I personally thought it was the best episode so far out of the three. Great story, great action, uh, had great moments, absolutely fantastic pacing. Uh, they did a fantastic job. It was so good. We're all partnering together to get to that first milestone of 1K subscribers, so I would love it if you were along for that journey. More videos right here. Subscribe down here, and I'll see you in that new video. Be easy.